Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again, and this is round three with... Naya? And we're going to see if we can finish off this collection, so go ahead and grab one of those... His name. Mad Eye Moody. Oh, Mad Eye. Oh, thank you. Mad Eye Moody. And he um, is from Harry Potter, I'm guessing, because it was on the Harry Potter side. And he has two different hairs, I'm guessing. Doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> and this potion bottle, I guess, can't stand. He's got up. a wand, a potion bottle, mm -hmm. a staff, and pretty good print. Actually, a really good print with uh, print continuing down on the waist and legs. Uh, tri molded legs because there are three different colors going on there. There's the tan, the blue, oh, yeah. and the silver, so that's kind of interesting. I didn't see that. And he has an alternate face to go with his alternate hair, so let's check that out. Huh. And there we are with the alternate face and alternate hair. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, what's next? Let's see. <gasps> Draco Malfoy! Yes! Woohoo! So, this is Draco Malfoy. Yes! This one's really cool. So, he has the cape and all, and he has a really cool broomstick. It's sweet. He has the Quidditch broom. And he has the golden snitch. I think the print on the, his jacket is pretty cool. All right, what's next? I don't know what is next. So I believe this is, I, I believe this is Cho Chang. She has a nice owl. The, she doesn't have any alternate face, but her legs do move. I think that is cool. And her hair is kind of rubbery. Yeah. And soft. Yeah. So another Hogwarts student. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. <gasps> we got wrong! Woo! We're stringing good ones on this! So we have Ron Weasley. And I recognize him because I saw the red hair first, and I'm like, that's him. <laughs> and he has little scabbers in his hand, and yeah, I like the print on his jacket. I like that it, his shirt and his tie are a little bit wrinkly. <laughs> like, yeah. it's a tie that he inherited from his brothers because they can't afford to buy him new stuff. Yeah. He's got a wand, pretty good print. And he has movable short legs too. Right, he's got the new legs, so that's cool. Yeah. And Scabbers has just a little bit of print for his eyes. Yeah. And, and that's the new Han Solo hair, but now in the reddish orange. <laughs> so works out really well. Yeah. Cool. Alright, got a couple more. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh we got another Harry. Well that's cool. Yeah. Alright. So we got we got another Harry Potter and yeah and let's, let's do that. That was speedy. Oh Dean Thomas. We have Dean Thomas and he has the flag. I love the Gryffindor flag. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the print on his jacket. And the scarf is kind of cool. Yeah. He's got uh, a nice hair piece. He doesn't have an alternate face, but he has a uh, moving, the new legs. Right. And short movable legs. Just a little bit of print to suggest his hood and the rest of his scarf. scarf. 
This is a really nice print. They did a really nice job on this, I think. That's a really fine detail on that print. So I'm happy to get that. Unfortunately, the other houses don't seem to have a banner in this minifigure line. So maybe we'll get another series of uh, Harry Potter minifigures and we might see some of the other houses represented. Cool. Let's All open right. up the last one. One more to go. I don't recognize it, but we'll find out in a minute. Witches Live Among Us. I don't know if that's supposed to be a book or a ticket or a flyer. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. But. This is Creedence Barebone. Sad face. Uh, I didn't. Does he have an alternate face? Nope. Yeah. No. Okay. That's a cool print, though, on his torso. I was just gonna say that. I didn't think it was hair. Yeah, it's, it's like, it looks like a Beatles haircut. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is from Fantastic Beasts, so we haven't read these books yet, but it's a cool figure. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Cool, that's one I don't have yet. And this is Sedwick Didgery, and he comes with a really nice trophy piece that's printed there. It comes with a pair of wands, of course, just like all of them. He's got some nice uh, print on his legs with the sports stripes there. Diggory on the back of his Quidditch jersey. And then, of course, the uh, logo for his house. Nice face print and a cool hair piece. I like this guy. This is from Fantastic Beasts. I don't recall her name off the top of my head. She does include a sausage, whoops. It's a little bit darker color than the traditional hot dog and bun. And she also has a pair of wands, so you can take those out and they give you a spare, which is kind of nice. And this is Tina Goldstein. This is one of the Fantastic Beasts characters. As you can see, she has dual molded legs to give those boots color all the way around. There's also some nice print that goes down onto her waist and legs. The print on her torso is quite nice. Let's get rid of this sausage and the wand and you can have a little bit better look. As you can see she's got a, a necklace and a coat above her coat if that makes sense. She has an overcoat and then a, a gray coat under that. I like this uh, hat and hair piece combination that they have. It's the same one that they used in the Fantastic Beasts Lego Dimensions set for the same character. The alternate face is appropriately solemn in comparison to the happier face that we see here. Overall, I think this is a pretty nice figure and uh, I appreciate the printing all the way around on the torso and those dual molded legs really add quite a bit, I think. Alright, cool. This is who I thought it was. This is Jeannie Goldstein, and I wanted this figure particularly for this loaf of bread that she comes with. That's a cool piece. She also has a black wand, uh, which is kind of interesting. I don't recall seeing other characters with black wands. If we take those off, you can get a little bit better look at her torso print, which is pretty good. And that continues down onto her waist and dual molded legs. She also has, uh, actually it might be tri-molded, no, dual molded, but printed shoes on the feet there, which is cool, and uh, just a single face and a nice hair piece with a part going down the side there, and the print continues around the back. Overall, a really nice figure, I think. All right, last one for today. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> we got him. And here we have Percival Graves. This, as you probably know, is the chase figure for this series. So there is one in every box of 60. So I was lucky to find him at my local Walmart. And I was pretty confident it was him because I thought I felt two hair pieces. But um, as it turns out, I was quite right. So he's got a great torso print that continues down onto his waist and legs. He's a nice um, light colored wand. There's some arm printing there, which is pretty good and uh, print on the back and then of course 
this uh, dual tone hairpiece, and then um, he also has an alternate face and an alternate hairpiece when he's Grindelwald. And there he is as Grindelwald. So I am unfamiliar with these characters or this character um, because I have not yet read these books or seen these movies. So um, all I know is the little bit that I've seen from trailers and hearing people talk about it and stuff. So um, this is still pretty new to me, but it's a pretty good looking figure and I'm glad I was able to find him. was it my friends for today we got pretty good luck yeah so we have what's her name Ch uh, Cho Chang Cho yes Cho Chang I'm forgetting all of their names now um something I Anyway, <laughs> we have and, and Harry, we have Harry, Draco, Draco Malfoy, Ron. Ron Weasley, Dean Thomas, and Credence Barebone. Oh yeah, Creedence. what's his name? Uh, that guy, something I forget. <laughs> well, we'll find out later. All right. See you later. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.